Hey guys, it's Rahul here back with another video and welcome to part 2 of making an Arduino drone. So right now I'm heading over to 7-Eleven to grab a coffee and then I need to go to Jaycar, grab that board I was looking at yesterday. Um, I finished the wiring diagrams which I told you yesterday and yeah, while I go get some coffee, you guys can watch some of this footage from yesterday. So yeah, let's roll that. So far you've seen me make this, now that this is done, and the stand, I've got the stand right here, uh, we got a bit of an issue with the stand, so this is mounting up here at the top, but it doesn't fit properly, I'm, I wasn't able to find screws that, like the included screws didn't fit awfully well, so I'm probably going to have to find some washers and just put them in between the screw and the stand which should be okay so after I do that actually I'll do that afterwards now we've got a few other parts so I've got the ESC here um, this will connect to the each of the motors so I've got four of these four ESCs so which are electronic speed controllers that will pretty much control the speed of these motors here that you can see I've got two clockwise, two counterclockwise. I'm gonna have to watch the video again <laughs> to actually see what I've done. Um, then we've got a power distribution board here, which has a XT60 connector. So this is what I'm gonna be using. And I've got a 2600 milliamp hour 60C battery. Yep, 60C battery, 3.3 volts. Or should be 3.3 volts. Or 12 volts actually. And. Okay. Also XT60. Problem is, this came with a T plug. So I'm gonna have to fix this. And I've got four of these, and probably not enough barrel connectors. So these are like barrel connectors here. This is what this needs to plug into. And also, these motors, they come with wires like this. So I also have to work with that and get that to fit into these here. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. And I have to wire it all up. 
after I get all the wiring done, it should be pretty straightforward from there. So yeah, let's quickly do some wiring diagrams before I screw something up pretty badly and then let's actually work with this. The seasons come and go like thoughts of you Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue they change but in a cycle that I can't lose Each painful but delightful to live through You came into my life just like another season Not for long, just a time, just like another season Hey guys, I'm back from JCAR. I managed to get some of this perforated board. So this is a drilled PCB. This, I'm going to be using this one for the actual drone, which is good. So this is essentially what I'll be making here, which is kind of complex. And right now I'm going to try out See if I can make the remote controller. Hopefully I can get that done. If I can get that working quickly, that'd be good. By now you probably you've probably seen the work of the progress I've made with the actual drone. So hopefully that looks good. So you guys will have like a bit of an idea of what the final thing's gonna look like. So yeah, that's cool. Hope you guys are excited. Or as excited as I am. Now let's grab some stuff. Here we go. So you've probably seen the MP6050 as well here. I've got the module working, I've got this wired up. So my dad helped me with... My dad pretty much soldered this for me. And he did a really good job because it actually works. And I wasn't able to get it to work. So yeah, that's one good thing. Now I need to figure out how to solder them properly. So this module will go in here. I'm going to be using an Arduino Nano for this. And I guess the rest of it is pretty easy. I'm going to put this away first. 
Ну, это тут без клея. Oh, and Jaika didn't have the drilled PCBs that I was looking for. So I had to kind of, I'm probably going to have to go with the ones with those lights through it, with the connected ones. That's going to be annoying because I'm going to have to score all of them, score a bunch of lines so my wires don't touch. Actually, yeah, I could probably just isolate little small bits. I might actually do that. Oh my baby. Got me staring at you, so I'm crazy. Watch you bend that back for me. We won't stop. Got your feet both locked. You get to flop with me. I can take you down for a ride. I take you around my life. Jaywalking, crosswalking, flip locking with you. talking about so this is what I have to work with so these are all like connected together in lines this is what I kind of wanted but like with the silver con with copper contacts everywhere so just dots instead of like an entire sheet like this I mean it's okay I can manage with that but it would be ideal to not have something like that because like now I need to kind of mark it up and cut it so you have something like that and then have like all the wiring. Oh wait, that's the wrong way. There we go, that's better. So I have something like that. And underneath here, I'm just gonna have to have like score a lot of these so these don't just all touch. And then just like have wires going from here to like elsewhere, wherever I need. I think probably the best thing to do is just having like this orientation just because it'll save me from having to score each line. Like I can just put one line through here, through either side of this, which should be okay. Then I can, like I'll put these, he I'm gonna be putting headers like this in, which I'm probably gonna have to get. I forgot about that. Oh, actually, I'll, I should probably finish wiring that up. I really haven't finished wiring everything, have I? Just like, I'm like too tired and thinking about going home. And you guys are probably gonna have to listen to me rag for like another two hours, probably. Okay, maybe not two hours. 
Clearly I'm like dead. I'm definitely dead on the inside. That goes there. Okay guys, I'm kind of done here. I'm gonna go home and take some rest. I'm getting really tired. Hopefully I can wake up tomorrow morning and work on this. And also see if I can make sure, like see if I can get all the coding done. If I can get the coding done tomorrow, that'd be good, I can move on to and I can, I guess, move on to the actual drone because this is just the remote for it so I don't want to be spending way too much time on here at least the diagram for this isn't in too bad of a condition so this is the diagram looks okay features like it's okay but then the next one Oh, yeah, that's, it's okay, but it's kind of like, there's a lot of overlap, so you can't really see where half of the connections go, and like, I'm looking at this myself, trying to figure out where, what goes, and I'm the one who made this like a day or two ago, and if I can't read it, then, I mean, I guess no one else can. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. Although it is, although the diagram I made is true to what I kind of need. So that's good. Also, note to self, I'm more confident in speaking to the camera. Adios guys, this is this is gonna be another long night if I decide to stay up and work on this. Most likely I'm just gonna go to bed and just call it a day. Cause I'm looking at this like, this is just not fun. This is more of a headache and I've already got a headache. So yeah, headache plus headache equals double headache. Math. Take care guys, catch you guys soon.